In front of me, I have a lot of MacBook, a lot of MacBook Air specifically, and this is the new one, the 15 inch in every single new color. This is a product that a lot of people have wanted. Probably want to see it compared to some of the other MacBook options that are out there on the market. So not only will you be able to compare each color of new 15 inch MacBook Air in this video, but you'll also get to see it next to, uh, this is the 15 inch, Pro, the 14 inch Pro, it is the, the 13 inch Air, which is probably the main comparison that people wanna see. I've also got an 11 inch iPad Pro in here and a previous generation MacBook Air. You'll be able to get an idea of just how much bigger this is and what you're giving up in terms of portability or what you're gaining in terms of portability when you compare this to the 15 inch Pro, which is obviously heavier than the Air. Okay, so the four colors, space gray, the silver color, Midnight, which is the black color. And then you've also got the gold, which they call Stardust. Starlight. Ooh, by Starlight. I'll meet you in the garden at Starlight. This time around with the 13 inch model, I actually purchased the silver, which is like the old school color. Power books and stuff used to be this lighter silver back in the day and not that space gray that everybody's been buying recently. This is the comparison I'm most excited for up against the 13 inch current generation. Okay, so these are all base model units. So that's eight gigs of unified memory and 256 of SSD storage. Of course, you can spec these however you please, but it's amazing the performance we're getting out of base models these days. M2 chips all around. Look at the graphic on the front. Look how thin that baby looks. Next up is the silver model. Same spec, eight gigs memory, 256 SSD and M2 chip. I'm gonna have to rank these in terms of which colors I like and in which order. This is the Starlight, same spec. And last up we have silver. Wait, SPG. Oh, so is this space gray? That was silver, my bad. SPG equals space gray. Before opening them, I'm gonna take my guess. Because of how much I like the silver on the 13 inch, I think I'm gonna like it here in the 15, I'm guessing. I'd probably go here, then space gray, then black, and then starlight. I'll meet you in the garden at starlight. And the only reason on the black one, which would normally probably be my top pick, is just because of that fingerprint thing. Let's actually start with midnight. Something nice that Apple does, the word MacBook Air is the same color as the laptop and so is the Apple logo. Unboxing experience, you assume, will be elegant. Pull a couple of tabs. Ooh, lovely. Say what you will about Apple's products, but the unboxing experience, top notch. Boom. Here is Midnight and my first time handling the 15 inch MacBook Air. Extremely thin and light. This is weird, in this lighting, this Midnight has a bluish hue to it, which I kind of like. I mean, it's a cool look. Probably if it wasn't for the fingerprint problem, which right now seems okay, although I'm guessing that's more of an overtime situation. Ah, maybe I'm gonna have to change my ranking. I like this. On this side of the device, we have our MagSafe connector for charging. Of course, we can also charge over USB type C. Other side of the device, just a tiny little headphone jack. The charger that's included in the box, I'll talk a little bit about this. It's not very high powered. You can upgrade it from Apple or you can upgrade it independently via our friends and partners at Anchor. They sell something like this. This is the 737, which is 120 watts. Inside of Apple's package, you've got this little guy and you love the portability of it, but unfortunately this is only 35 watts. So it's not gonna, charge up your laptop at max capacity. Yes, it has two type C connectors, which is cool, but 35 watts. Why wouldn't you charge up quicker with this device instead of upgrading to Apple's, I believe it's 70 watts. This particular power adapter gives you even more connection points. So you can charge multiple devices with all of that extra power, including your other accessories, your iPad, your phone, and so forth. This one also has fold down prongs super portable, two type C connectors, and then a type A connector. And that baby right there is 120 watts. So now you're gonna be recharging your laptop at the fastest rate possible. Now also inside the package, you're gonna get your cable, and this is MagSafe. MagSafe 
is nice to use, you can still use your MagSafe with your more high-powered power brick because beautifully here, Apple has decided to have the MagSafe terminate in type C on one end. So plug into this charger, no problem, and then MagSafe on the other. And actually with the Midnight, that's kind of a good look. You got the black on black situation over there. I will link this down in the description so you can go pick one up. Uh, what a wonderful partner to have on the channel. They have solutions for everything. So the cable is braided, type C on one side, MagSafe on the other with an LED indicator light. I love that Apple has included MagSafe as an option as well as the capability to charge over a typical type C cable if that happens to be what you have access to. We find Apple stickers, of course, in the midnight color. I'm gonna flip this one open and woof, boots up right away, which is lovely stuff. Ooh, 15 inches is giving me some space to breathe. It's giving me that real estate that I love. So this looks a lot like the 15 inch Pro. Why don't I grab the 15 inch Pro right now? It's amazing, now this feels heavy comparatively, even though for what it is, it's a fairly lightweight laptop. So I lift that up and you can just see how much fatter it is. My goodness. And it also is a little bit deeper. It's got a bigger trackpad slightly. Keyboard looks identical. Key travel. Different, more of a thump. Mac OS Woo! Anyway, uh, very comparable. Feeling is pretty much identical. Getting yelled at for goofing around. Versatility, pro model, what are you getting? Full size HDMI, Type-C connector Thunderbolt, SD card slot, other side, MagSafe, two Thunderbolt headphone jack. So versatility, power, obviously we know how it goes with the pro situation. Now if I pull out the scale, because this is interesting, it's like, hey man, how much are we actually saving? And all this stuff is so powerful at this point, it's confusing. Sitting there thinking, do I really need to go all the way to this pro model? Am I gonna utilize it? Is it worth the added weight coming in at 2136 grams? So 4.7 pounds on the big boy. We bring the brand new 15 inch air, 1506.5 grams, 3.3 pounds, 3.3 pounds, 4.7 pounds, 15 screen size 16. Not an Apple's tablets comparison because there's a slight difference in screen size, but I think a lot of people are gonna opt for this new Air. I think it's gonna be extremely popular and I think many will prefer the weight savings, still get the big screen that they want and get a lower price point. That's my take. Now, what if we bring into frame the 13 inch MacBook Air? We're gonna save some weight here. 1,237.5 grams, 2.7, 2.7, 3.3. I'll meet you in the garden at Starlight. It really does depend on the user. Are you planted more? Do you have a nice work surface? Are you at a desk more often? My goodness, take the screen real estate. Are you ultra portable? Are you on the airplane a lot? You might wanna go for the 13. And just for fun, let's bring in the previous generation 13 at 1,292. 2.8, now that gets closer. A little closer, tiny bit closer. 2.8, 3.3. I'm getting some fingerprints now, actually. Okay, it's a matter of time on the midnight. And I like the midnight, but I'm gonna be wiping it down. You look at this color right here, that's gonna look like that. And by the way, it's not just the exterior, because you might be saying, well, yeah, I mean, you know, you're picking these things up. But really what it is, is it's on the palm areas in here. There you go. That's even more sensitive. Look at the fingerprints showing up. I told you it was gonna happen. I told you it was gonna happen, dude. So it's something to consider if that's really gonna bug you, maybe avoid the midnight. Now, just for fun, I've also got the 11 inch iPad Pro with the keyboard case, the lighter keyboard case. This is about as light of a little workstation you're ever gonna find. And that's coming in at 770.5 grams, 1.7 pounds. Yeah, it's like a pound differentiating almost each one of these things. You can have this set up, you can go a pound more and have this set up, roughly speaking, and then you can go almost a pound more and get the 15 inch or move into the pro stuff. So it's just a fun comparison. And then the last one is the 14 inch pro. We go 14, 15, then 16, 1,599.5, 3.5. So very similar to the new Air, the 15 inch Air, more screen size, lighter weight, 
more horsepower and more port versatility if that matters to you, if you need that full-size HDMI and stuff like that. But, and a lot of it comes down to what you're gonna use it for. If you're gonna spend a tremendous amount of time inside of multimedia and so forth, and you feel that you could take advantage of having one of those higher-end chips, then okay. But that seems to me to be less relevant than ever, at least in our workflow here in this studio. I think we could pretty much run this entire place with one of these, pretty much, more or less. I mean, we could. So I think for most people, you can save a little cash and instead pick the Air model for most people. Okay, so that's gonna be your midnight. Now let's go ahead and move into, you know what? Let's go to the starlight. Midnight starlight, we'll keep it in the space category. Well, there's three spaces in there. Cause star light, you get the star, stars, space gray, which is a little bit right to the point. And then midnight, I guess it's midnight space related. I don't know. Caliper measurement. You want to know 15 versus 13, don't you? You want to know if they're the same thickness? I do. I want to know. Of course it's Apple. They're exactly the same. 15 and 13 will be the exact same thickness, ladies and gentlemen. I don't even need the calipers for that. Wow, it's amazing, isn't it? This is about to be a laptop fest over here. Here is Starlight. Now, I expect this to be my last pick as far as color choice is concerned, but I don't know. Here we go. It's like a champagne color to it. It's probably the most luxurious. If you don't have it next to say silver or space gray, you might not pick up as much pink as when you have them next to each other. It might just look mostly silverish gold. It's hard to even pinpoint what you would call this color. Boots up. I should also mention at this point, this does have the notch situation, which remains to be somewhat divisive, like whether that's a thing that bugs you or not. For me, I, I can deal with it. It's not my favorite aspect of the device, but I can deal with it. I can't say that I hate this color. I would totally deal with this color. I just don't think it would be my top pick. Now, the only other difference to mention is your cable. This is gonna be white. That's your typical cable that you're gonna get, I think with, I don't know about space gray, but for sure with the silver model. So the Midnight might be the only one that gives you the distinctive charge cable as well. Look at that color match. Okay, so let's go to the space gray and we'll leave what I think will be my choice till the very end, which is the silvers. And of course, you guys can vote as well in the comments. We'll see which one prevails as the favorite. And yeah, so even with the space gray model, wait a sec, that is gray. Let me just do a quick comparison here. Yeah, every single one of them is unique. That is a subtle detail. I thought this was plain white, but now I see that starlight weave in there and I see the space gray weave in this one. Now space gray is a happy medium and since it was introduced, it has been my choice on MacBooks. It's just kind of this nice hybrid between maybe the fingerprint situation of the midnight and maybe the, I don't know, too, too, too light color of the, of the silver. So I would happily use this. I think for some reason, the silver seems a little bit more novel at this point, possibly just because I've owned a lot of the space gray stuff. Space gray will still receive some fingerprints. It just won't be nearly as bad as it is on the midnight color. This one messes me up because my MacBook Pro is in this color. So this just feels like a thinner, lighter MacBook Pro. It feels, it feels like a futuristic MacBook Pro. Like this is what the MacBook Pro would want to be at a certain point. It's like they designed it to be as thin as possible while maintaining the ability to have a headphone jack. Like that is just maxing this thing out. We have Space Gray, we have Starlight, we have Midnight, and we are only missing one to complete the family here. Silver. And yeah, even silver has a slightly different cable comparative to the others. What a beautiful little detail. There's something so vibrant and this color just really pops for me. I'm sticking to my initial evaluation. I think I take silver one, number one. I might move the midnight all the way to the bottom because I just think this, this fingerprints would be irritating to me. Weirdly, as much as I like 
like a sort of blacked out product. This one feels the least premium to me of the bunch. But everybody wants to figure out how to do a nice metallic black laptop, but it's, in, it's just so hard to do it without having the surface showcase blemishes. It's very hard to do it. And you're spending quite a bit of money even on these laptops that may or may not bother you. So you just factor that in. I know I've talked about it a few times now and maybe that doesn't matter to you. And you're like, shut up already, Lou. I don't really care about a couple of fingerprints, but I'm gonna keep silver at the top. I'll go space gray two. Then I'll shift starlight into the third position and I'll put midnight at the bottom. That might be a surprise to you guys. You let me know your ranking in the comments, please, because I am genuinely curious. Which is better? The 15 inch or 13 inch MacBook Air. See, this feels beautifully light in a 15 inch form factor. Okay, so silver, silver, opening angle, nearly identical. Bigger trackpad. So the other nice thing about this silver color, because I keep going on about this color situation, because really, I mean, let's be honest, these laptops are pretty much the same other than scale. Obviously there's differences, but it, for the most part, they're the same. The, the sort of this contrast effect that goes on here with this color option. Like you get this nice difference between the keyboard and the deck and the trackpad. It's only 11.5 millimeters thin, making it the world's thinnest 15 inch laptop. World's thinnest 15 inch laptop. Now they're not goofing when it comes to comparing to 13 or 14 inch laptops, but they're saying 15 inch laptops Thinnest. So we are talking world records here. All right, Google versus Google. Real estate, ladies and gentlemen, for me, it's the hunch factor, the hunchback factor where I'm like, okay, a 13 inch, like I'm getting work done. I'm in and out of the cafe. You know how that goes. But over here, I got that higher kind of, I think a lot of people can buy the 15 inch. That's my feeling right now. Battery life. So they're both stating around 18 hours of battery, which obviously in this case, bigger displays using more power. So you do have a bigger battery but you actually end up with a similar runtime, at least that's what Apple is stating. I don't think that's gonna be your deciding factor either. Yeah, air to air webcam, they look the same. Let's test out the speakers because sometimes you get more space inside, you can put bigger speakers, right? That could be another difference. 13 inch, max volume. Fifteen inch max volume. Well, yeah, sounds better. Oh, easy. Fifteen inch sounds much better. Way more low end. So the fifteen does have advantages. I mean, you got more space to work with. However, you give up that portability. You know the deal. You know the trade. Let me know which of these two you would pick. Are you going for the 13 inch MacBook Air or the brand new 15 inch MacBook Air? And which color would you choose regardless of which one you get? Cause the same colors are available. Is it gonna be silver, which is my choice? Is it gonna be the luxurious starlight or the good old classic space gray? Or are you all about midnight? No matter what the fingerprints look like. Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you later.